um, things are moving along. A little bit of a of a headache on Portola, the, the Pasadena property. Yeah. And inspectors giving us a hard time, but but why? Uh, we have to remove a couple of drywall pieces. They have to check out plumbing. They have to take check out uh, electrical. Even though we had a previous inspector who came by and checked it out. <sighs> yeah. That stuff drives me nuts. I know, man. But as always, uh, it's part of the game. We got to keep it going. It's all part know? of the game. Yeah. Let's see. How do we get this? I don't want to share screen. Are we there? Yeah. How come I'm not? Last time I was doing it, it would, it would bounce to me and then it would record you, you'd come on. And then when I'd speak it, it, it'd take me in full screen. Uh, let me see here. Maybe, um, spotlight when I speak, let's see that. Okay. I'm gonna try that. I don't know if that's gonna work. No, <laughs> no. It says one participant. Okay, so multiple. What are we doing here? I'm going to stop recording for a second. Recording. There we go. Even better now. Okay. Yeah, things are good, man. Just crazy. Just uh, working the the uh, marketing piece out, marketing pieces out. Man, there's so much actually in marketing that goes on, you know? So many wow. things you got to keep track of. Yeah. And, and, you know, going in on, you know, just for the trainings and everything else. And so I've got a big meeting, had a great meeting yesterday with a guy, John. Uh, and I think he's got a massive lead generator we're going to tap into. Oh, man. So that'll be good. And, and for all kinds of things, we, he's a real, or he's a, uh, all state insurance broker. Okay. And, but, um, he, he came through one of the programs up in, uh, I think he did it in Cali. And then okay. they moved to Chicago. Nice. And uh, it's funny because we're talking about one of the couple of the properties that he picked up. One he picked up from Brian Siegel. And then okay, another yeah. one he flipped to Carl or Colin Egglesfield. And, okay. you know, they're all these different students. And so they're flipping back and forth in Chicago and talking and stuff. So it's kind of good to, to get his. He was also talking with uh, Dave Seymour. Okay, from, yeah. Yeah, so pulling a bunch of stuff together, we'll we'll see. But he goes, I've got this great right now. I'm just using it for insurance leads. But he goes, but that's okay. so easy to tap in and just plug in for real estate, non, non, non. And so he's heading for Southern Utah right now to do some hiking. Um, okay. But he'll be back. So, so I guess right. we officially kick off, man. Let's 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 rock and roll. Okay. So, hey guys, R.G. Williams here with Pallets of Money. And what's up? This is Victor Quick with One Up Homes, and we're here to bring you some. What are we doing today? Yeah, you know that's a, that's a good point. You and I had talked <laughs> about it in text, but maybe we start out now going down. How do we find good deals in any type of market? You know, I think oh, that's yeah. going to be one of the things that people are looking at is, hey, my market because you're in a market that is just unbelievably fast. Huh. Yep, right here in Los Angeles, California. Uh, crazy, crazy. Um, value is going up by the day. It, I, I don't get it, but I love it. By the day. See, guys, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm in a very similar here in Salt Lake City. Our market is moving. I don't know if it's daily, but I know that each week it gets stronger in, in values and going up, which means less properties, right? And I mean, uh, the appreciation is, is exponential. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. Investors. But that, that that's also a... Um, what do you want to say? It's also a weak. There's more opportunity for a bigger crash. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing we got to be a little bit more careful. But uh, at the same time, like I talked to RG when the pandemic hit, and we were like, "Man, do we keep going? Do we wait?" And you're like, "No, we got to keep going." And man, we've been going, and it's been uh, some good, some good advice. Well, yeah, you, you've <laughs> what you pulled out two or three. We've been able to pull out two or three in Indianapolis and that kind of stuff because. You know, the, the one thing I always learned that that kind of like first responders, that when there's when there's a fire, when there's an accident, you run in. Yeah. 
You don't run away, you run in, right? Yeah. So a fireman's always just throwing on that, boom, all these gear and throwing on that hose and heading out and going to take care of it. So this is the same thing. If there's any type of fire, whether it's going up in appreciation or falling and fa again, falling apart, we need to be rushing in. Exactly. I mean, uh, there's opportunities, uh, different strategies, but up or down sideways, we're in. Uh, no, go, go deeper on that. Cause that's a solid point right there. There's always a strategy. So, so let's look at it. We got a fast market. You're in a market that's quick. I'm in a market that's quick. What's your strategy? Well, right now, uh, appreciation is going galore. So of course we're buying and fixing and, and capturing that, uh, appreciation when we sell it, um, perfect market for that. But everyone says, okay, what, what's going to happen if it crashes? I'm like, well, okay. Now we get to still buy properties at discount because we're investors, but now we just buy and hold because they're so cheap and we could cash flow mortgages are low. I mean, so many things, so many things. So, so what if, what if you've bought it? Cause, cause, cause right now we're right. We're, we're right at, 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 with this, this crazy Corona, right? This oh, yeah. virus that has shut down economies and you're in a state that they're, you know, they're still shut down. They're still trying to figure it out. Right. I mean, Arts, and, yeah. and, and, and the people are moving and that kind of stuff. The government wants it different, right. Or the yeah. governor, right. Salt Lake yeah. is weird because just last week, they took Provo, which is just the city next to us, um, and they pushed it back into orange, where everything else is pushing out of yellow and going into green. They took in it, that's where BYU University is, Brigham Young University is okay. down there in Provo. And that, uh, I, I guess there was a bunch that got together at a party or something and, and spread the virus, okay? So they turned that whole, yeah they turn that whole county backwards. Okay. Okay. And then you get Florida and the governor said, nope, we're wide open. We're full green. Yeah. Right. South Dakota has been green. I was talking with uh, some of the students, uh, uh, my students over there in Hawaii, the, the, the Hawaiian family, I call them. Right. Okay. And Justin <laughs> and Cheryl, and they're now limiting controlling the opening. So oh, yeah, yeah. there's still a 14 day quarantine unless you've been tested. Uh, so there was one gal lives in Oahu, flew to the mainland, flew back. And of course, that's a 14 day quarantine. Yep. She flew in on a Saturday and was seen outside on a Sunday and somebody turned her in. Oh, man. And she was arrested and put in on a $3,000 bail. So, I mean, they're serious about it over there. Granted, it's an island. I get that they, they have to take other things in precaution, but mm -hmm. you can go to the beach, but only five people, but you have to go to the, the county and get a permit first so they know who's going. Oh, and you know, so, just, <laughs> so it's just really weird. Now, in addition to that, we have the presidential election here in, in a couple of weeks, right? Or four or five weeks, whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. Coming up. So let's say now let's go back to your strategy your thought is right now it's fast it's crazy it's moving we're getting in low we're doing what we need to do and and we love it that it's a daily weekly increase in values even if it was five ten twenty bucks hundred bucks a thousand bucks is better but let's say right it's still increasing now we got new investors that are coming in but because you know how and i know how to shift gears if you will, right? The market yeah, changes yeah. and we go, okay, God, we're sitting right here, shift gears. These guys yeah. are brand new. We got some new, brand new guys that are watching us and they're wanting to get in. So now they buy high and the market crashes. Yeah. Now, what do you do? Now what, you, you're right in the middle of your rehab, right in the middle yeah. of your rehab and the values die. What are you going to do? What, wh how do you, what do we do, man? I mean, I mean, there's a couple options. I mean, uh, man, when the market crashes, I mean, Luckily, I did have to sit on the property for a little bit longer. So what I did was, you know, with the with the appreciation that we added to it, the value we added to it, we were able to refinance and just hold on for a little bit and use that money. Out, so, so, you know. so, so you you in your shifting gears, you just had to change the way you were holding it because of the money, right? So you may have been on exactly. a hard money, on a hard money or something in like that. Okay, so we look at it, guys. That you don't, you're not going to get stuck. I think that's yeah. the one thing that I've always learned is that there's no way to get stuck. You just have to shift and think different. You're like, yeah. oh, 
okay, so I refinance and hold it for a little bit longer. Yeah, and you might not see, you know, no money while you're holding it, but wait till the market goes up. It always goes up, it goes down. Eventually, it might be a couple years, but then you can capture that at that point, you know. But um, as long as you don't really take it as a loss or doesn't hit you as a loss, uh, for me, I think that might be a, a good option. Um, even if you lose a little bit, hold on for a little bit longer. Like we say, markets go up, go down. Eventually. Right, right, right. Because because as we've always learned, it's it's uh, real estate, nothing more than price and terms. Yeah. And you just got to oh, play in that terms. in those two games, right? And it's like, oh, yeah. okay. Well, if I, if you, Mister Seller, are stuck on a price, and I need to get lower, then I might come at it with my terms. Yeah, yeah. If you're flexible on your price, then maybe I can, you know, my terms are going to be a little different and I can work them a little different and so forth. But let's look at it this way now. You're in a hot market. <clears throat> you got some properties going. The market starts to stale, starts yeah. to plateau out. Okay. Oh, man, am I going to find the right deals and that kind of stuff? I've always been, let's look at other markets. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's a, that's the cool thing about this. You can do it anywhere. The same same formula. Just do it anywhere. Just you just gotta study your market because everything's different. You know, some are hot, some are cold, some are. Okay. But you can still make moves. Wherever so so if we've got a if we got a fast moving market in California, okay. but we've got a medium moving market in Indianapolis, and now we have some fast stuff happening in Tulsa, but it's just beginning. When you say study the market, how do we find these deals, man? Because that's what everybody's trying to find out, right? That are listening to us and they're coming to us and going, yeah, you guys are the gurus. You guys are the seasoned, <laughs> right? And and the, I always tell people the only difference between us and them is we've been in it longer. Yeah. <clears throat> that's just the difference. And you learn <laughs> through experience, right? And you, I, I got a mentor, you got a mentor. Now we're teamed up. And But so if what's happening in Tulsa, have you ever done some studies? Uh, not there, of course, in my backyard. That's where I'm at. We're right. always studying uh, employment, um, uh, rents, um, so many factors, comparables, so many different factors you got to look at to study the whole market as a general to know what, what kind of moves you're going to make. So you can do that anywhere, right? That's the same, same formula. Thing. If what... I'm going to go somewhere else, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Okay, so here's something that, that's really fun, and I'm glad you brought it up that way to share with everybody that, that it, in, in uh, employment. What I discovered, and this was just, um, shoot, the last couple of days. I was going to say it was Tuesday. Okay. So, yeah, for this last couple of days. Um, some of the tech companies in San Francisco put together a, uh, what do you call them, a transfer package for their, okay. for their employees, right? Kept them at San Francisco wages. Gave them a ten thousand dollar bonus, moving bonus to, re to relocate. Yeah, to relocate to Tulsa. Okay. Okay. Now you're you, now th that's culture shock in one thing. You got you know if you if oh, if yeah, you're in California, <laughs> you're California oh. native, and you see the gorgeous things of of San Francisco and Monterey Bay and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now and now you're gonna go see the Midwest of Tulsa, <laughs> right? Different game, different game. Oh, yeah. A little more liberal over there, a little more conservative over here, on and on and on. But guess what it's doing to the real estate market? Yeah. Now it's it up and exactly it up. right. Because yeah. think about it when the when the uh like like a lot of the Chinese and Asian money came into San Francisco. Change that and all it, up. And it's still coming in, but yeah, it is changing it. And, and it keeps driving it faster, right? Driving it higher and on and on and on. Salt Lake City is the same. We had not so many years ago, uh, Adobe Software put in a, a, one of their headquarters here. And okay. then the, um, the, the, the micro, pro, I can't remember what they call it. One of the processors in, in PCs, uh, uh, it has to be manufactured in a clean room, right? So there's no oh, static yeah. and on it, you know, dust and on it. Well, there was a huge campus built out here in Salt Lake as well that went bankrupt. Micron had it or something like that. Well, that particular company was building the chips, bought that place. Then we get Google fiber, fiber optics and then we're getting, and then we're getting, right? So now all of a sudden they're bringing in Money, uh, Persian uh, programmers, right? Pakistani, India, all that kind of stuff. 
and they're mm-hmm. paying them crazy. So we went from an average of like 200 some odd thousand dollar average price home to almost 400,000. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. all that makes a difference. All that makes all a that makes a difference. So we go now that. into Tulsa, where before I was able to buy properties in Tulsa like thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Now you can't. But at the same time, when you're buying a two hundred thousand dollar property in Tulsa, you're talking almost three thousand square feet, four bedrooms. It might yeah, even have yeah. a pool. Now you think about that from the wages of San Francisco. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Easy. So you got these little, you know, McMansions as they call them out there. Right. But so as investors, we got to understand what's happening. We also have to understand that when there's um, like VA hospitals closing or probably a great example, new uh, 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 Albuquerque, New Mexico was gearing up to bring in um, Tesla, the battery, right. For the cars and stuff, they're going to have a factory there for the Tesla automobile battery. So they're gearing everything up. They're building up Albuquerque, everything's going. Well, Nevada over Carson City area, Reno, Carson City, wind and dine a little bit better. And Tesla- <laughs> and so they went that way. <laughs> Tesla went that way. Albuquerque died. Yeah, yeah. Died. I mean, things, yeah. Right, so you got to look at the things though. So when, how do we find deals in these markets as we started out? How do we find them in fast moving? How do we find them in slow moving? Hickory, North Carolina, phenomenal place until the furniture factories moved out. Mm -hmm. Then Hickory died. So little indicators that you're looking, you can still get good properties there, but what's the exit? Long-term home, the rentals, right? Lawton, Lawton, Oklahoma. It's a huge military base city. El Paso, Texas, huge mm-hmm. military base city. Yeah, and so so how do you I find it? perfect there, <laughs> right? You know? So so how do you start? No, so let me go back. You you're in this hot market. How do you find your deals, man? Oh man, uh, at this point, once you, once you get established, uh, deals just come to you. But uh, we still, of course, do marketing. We still online looking on the MLS. We're reaching out to wholesalers. Uh, we're still reaching out, but a lot of deals are coming to us as well. So it's, it's a mixture. At so what, what did you do? Let's help them out. What did you do to get established? All right, man. Uh, first off, you just got to do it. If you start doing deals, uh, people start seeing that you're doing it. They'll start being like, hey, that's the guy who flips. I have a house. Hey, would you buy this one? Or uh, uh, just getting out there. You know, once they see you guys uh, working, it, it starts building. It starts okay. Building. So uh, uh, in, in thinking through, and we, you and I have done this, we've gone through, you came through one of my classes, all that kind of stuff that we've done, but what's the first step? You're brand new going into a market. You don't have to be new in mental game, okay? But you're brand new in the market. What's your first step when you start looking at a, at a even a neighborhood? Doesn't even have to be where you are. Let's say you're going to go up from you, you go up into Victorville, right? Okay. It may not be as familiar to you so what would you what would you do who who what what's the first step all right first step i think uh the easiest step and and there's many steps but the first easiest step is uh just go shopping go shopping you don't have to buy anything just go shopping you'll see uh what properties are going for you'll start learning the prices and um that that alone i don't even have to look at comps sometimes i already know what by looking all the time, I already know what houses are selling for, and I already know if it's a good deal or bad deal without even looking at my calculator numbers. So first thing I would say, shopping. As okay, you so, shopping, so you, would, yeah. you would take a couple hour drive, go up to Victorville and shop around or do it online or wherever, right? You're online. just going to shop. Go on Zillow, go on Redfin, boom, just look at houses. You'll start seeing prices, they'll start getting familiar to you. And um, from there, once you think you like that market, you like the price points where you're at, let's say, you only have three hundred thousand dollars to invest, then you know that's a good market for you. Because hey, I could buy a house for three hundred thousand, one hundred and fifty thousand. So just shop, just look, just look what's what's going on. Easy, easy, easy. Once you okay. kind of like, yeah. Phenomenal. Second step. Second step. Now, once you kind of pick a neighborhood you like or an area you like, then I would start going into comps, um, going into um, man, what's that program uh, we use uh, where it tells you the statistics of all the everything in the, the jobs, employment, uh, the median price point. Oh, you um, mean like best places? There it is. Yeah, that's a really good one. Get a quick snapshot of what's going on. 
just to confirm that you really do want to get in that neighborhood. And then from there, just comps pretty much. Okay. So, so this online resource that you referred to like bestplaces.com dot com or dot net yeah, look it up guys it. best places i can't remember it and then and go we'll in and, and start looking at, at 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 like the crime rate and then the 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 it, it shows rental statistic it shows income statistics it shows how many are purchased how many are rents you know all that kind of stuff and that's going to give you more of uh what are you saying this it gives you if you want to be in there Oh, uh, hello. I think we're back in. There. <laughs> okay, yeah. Come back in. Internet. Oh, okay. You back in. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So sorry, man. All I was saying is is that best places gives you climate, gives you income statistics. It gives you how many houses are for rent, how many are owned, what's the income statistic of that area. And and you can see the 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 ratios of who owns and all that kind of stuff, right? And so that gives, gives it that gives it about the what? neighborhood, you know. That yeah. gives you the neighborhood. The neighborhood, yeah. Do you want to be in a rough neighborhood? I'm in the middle. I don't want to go too bad, but I'll go. I'll go a little bit, a little bit in there. You know, you can still find good deals at at, at a great price. But um, I definitely want to stay out of the bad, really bad crime areas, and you'll see that there. Um, like you said, uh, income values uh, that really helps because you know, okay, they're going to be able to afford the house once I'm done whatever I'm doing with it. You know, rent yeah, it. yeah. So, 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 guys, if you're watching this thing, pay attention to this. What he's saying is that the fact that one, I I, I figure out I'm shopping, so now I know yeah. an area. Two, yeah. now I drill down to see if I want to be in that one. Okay, and I want to know, and 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 then uh, I I got to see if it'll support what I'm going to do. Now, I would also then throw in there, is it going to support our style of rehabbing? Exactly. Yeah, because uh, and like you said, Victorville, I don't want to go too crazy over there. You know, just clean it up. Um, sometimes they, they just literally, they don't even redo the kitchen or bathrooms. I never see a fully, fully, fully redone house like that. So uh, they, you really got to pay attention to that. <laughs> you got to pay. There you go. They got to pay attention. You know, I shared the story and I have with you a lot of times I was in uh, uh, Conway, Arkansas, which just is just above Little Rock. And there's a there's okay. a bedroom community called Toad Suck, right? Toad oh. Suck, Arkansas. And, okay. and, you know, in Toad Suck, you're not putting in high end uh, granite, marble, solid surfaces, all that kind of stuff. And it's not yeah. because people don't appreciate it is that they don't care if it is or isn't. So yeah. yes, you could do the, you know, the entry level, because you know, granite, as you get into this, granite has its tiers, right? And right. so we could do an entry level tier, like the, the, the Verde Uba Tubas or you know, that kind of stuff that's, <laughs> that's, that's out there, but it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's an $8 a square versus a $48 a square. Yeah. And so you can increase people their lifestyles and that kind of stuff, but keep your pricing in right. So, yeah, yeah. right, that's what you mean by not going crazy. You make it nice, you make it clean, you make it and everything good suck. without overdoing it. Yeah, toad suck uh, or suck toes. It seems like uh, it is, yeah. that's, that's where they go just to go. Uh, no one's flashy. They just want a, a nice clean spot. So you got to know what people want in what areas. Correct, correct. So, so now in the other areas, if I'm going to be holding I'm going to do the same thing. So we've got first te two steps, right? We've got, now what's the third step? How do you get these properties? Oh, man, like I said, you got to reach out. You got to reach out to your real estate agents. You got to um, get a good, you know, get to know them. It's all about your network, wholesalers. And then of course, what you were talking about, marketing for sure. You got to keep those leads coming in. You know, people that want to sell, you got to reach out. They got to reach out to you. <laughs> and then hopefully you're able to help them and they're able to, to everyone wins in that situation. But, but man, I, I'm limited on funds. I don't have a whole bunch of money to, to spend on marketing and advertising. So, yeah, I mean, what do I do? I mean, there's different, different options. I mean, you guys could door knock, you guys could cold call. Of course, you got to buy your list, which isn't too expensive. You guys could go to foreclosuresdaily.com is one of them that I use. Um, they'll give you a list. Go knock on those doors, go send flyers, drop them off if you have to, whatever it takes. Bingo. Uh, of course, of course, once you start... Um, you, you don't, you want to find a lot of deals. You don't have time to go knock and call. And so there's other strategies we use to just blow it, keep it coming nonstop. But those are ways if you have to, if you've got to make it go, go knock, go call. See, and, and that I'm with you. I remember years back, my dad, as I was growing up, he, he had this crazy 
um, he, he took on a job selling burial plots. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not the most positive, right? No, no, <laughs> Let's talk either. about where you're going to rest forever. <laughs> but right. But, but he had, he, he needed to do something to put food on the table for his family. That was his responsibility. That's how he saw it. And he taught me how he would park at one end of a, of a neighborhood and he would knock the doors down or at a street and he'd knock the doors down and knock the doors back, get in his mm -hmm. car and go to the next one, knock the doors down, knock the doors back. See, I'm with you. For me, everything plays off of my goals. If my goals are to take care of my family at this level, then I got to do what I got to do. Yeah. And if that means knocking doors in the beginning, well, put some, put some tape on your knuckles. If they get raw, put so, you know, whatever, and just go knock the doors. Hey, yeah, yeah. I, I'm looking to purchase a house in this area. I'm an investor need to get it at the right price, whatever your pitch is. And maybe you don't even know what your pitch is. So just stumble. Yeah, Hi, I'm looking to buy a house in the neighborhood is yours for sale. That's it. You know, no, it's not. Do you know of one that is? No, I don't. Thanks. Hi, I'm looking to buy a house. Is yours for sale? No, I'm looking to buy a house. And you just go and then you'll start fine tuning. You know, yeah. maybe you'll get, maybe you'll get some big Rottweiler or some little Chihuahua that'll bark you <laughs> off the, off the porch. Okay. Yeah. I'm more concerned about the little ones, the little dogs <laughs> than I am the big ones. The big ones I can see coming. <laughs> so, those little go. Chihuahuas, they nip at your heel. <laughs> They don't let go either. <laughs> <laughs> it's just on there. Go. Right. But, um, but right. That's where I'm yeah. going to go. And then I can start talking to an agent. Yeah. Then I can start opening up. Look, I, I, I shopped. I, I, I detailed my shop. I know exactly what this value is. I know what the market is. I know if I go four streets over there, bullets fly. So I'm not going to be there, yeah. but over here is good. Okay. So go in, doing all of that kind of stuff. Got that down. Okay, I've knocked some doors. I got more response. I got some feedback. And, and now, you're going to get more response. Like you said, if you fine tune, you're going to know how to talk. You're going to know what to say. And so you're going to get more, a better outcome. Did you, know, you have so, all the words? I didn't. Uh, and I still don't. I always use different scenarios when I talk to people, and I still do. Even when uh, we when gave people... you scripting, right? Even we gave yeah. you scripting. And, and it's still, I'm the same way. I mean, I go back to the book my mentor had and then he gave me and I read the script and went, why haven't I been using that? Yeah, yeah. And at the end, I, I, it's pretty much that script and in my own way, but, but I, I just never use it. There's the answer. <laughs> There's the answer. You got to put your personality to it. Yeah, yeah. You know, sure. you and I have that. I, I smile at your texts when they come through. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, yeah. brother. And I'm like, <laughs> damn, that's what I love about this guy is he's just... <laughs> He's just genuine, right? Yeah. He sat down and, and I was talking, you, you remember Billy Batson? Oh, I do, yes. Yeah, yeah Billy's an investor right out in, in yep. Florida, right? And, and I was talking with him just the other day and I said, hey, look, Victor and I got this real fun YouTube channel we're playing around on and, and you know, pallets of money, we're just open format talking to people and man, we'd love to have you on. And he goes, brother, man, you gotta talk. It's like, no, we are not the normal. So I don't want, I don't want you on as normal. No, yeah, let me back. Yeah. I don't want you on as professional. I want you on as normal as you. I mean, yeah, our first yeah. one, you and I toasted, it was only supposed to be a toast and we ended up drinking most of the bottle, the tequila. It was yeah. great, right? Hey, we were scheduled. Too. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and so he, I was talking to him about that and he's laughing. He go, man, that'd be great. And, and it's, we want to share as many of our secrets, I hate that word, as many as our formulas. Let's go that way. Because I don't think there's any secrets. No. You just got to do the work. You just got to do yeah. the work, bottom line, right? And it's just some of that fun stuff that now, okay, now we're going to get an agent in. Yeah. Now the agent's going to start sending us deals. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's back that up. They're going to start sending us properties. Yeah, not, not always deals, but sometimes you never know. Uh, sometimes they're great, right? Sometimes they're already mm -hmm. prepackaged for us, but the majority, they're not, right? The majority right. of them, we're going in and I was, I, my mentor taught me and, and I teach this everybody is the best deals are those you create. Uh, literally, that's- Because that's I remember a conversation about the, the Whittier property. And I remember a couple of them in there that said, yeah, we saw this property on the MLS. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was the Pasadena one. They were like, yeah, I've seen this. Pasadena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we saw this on it, but man, we just went by it. Yeah. So yeah. the mentality is not that they didn't see the deal. It's it didn't hit their guidelines, their requirements, their their model, any of that kind of stuff. And yet there are others that don't see the deal. Not only that, you have to you have to make it, like you said, create it. So we negotiated, we dropped it down about eighty thousand dollars from what they had it listed at. So it's all you got to create it, you know, explain how it so, works. So, so how, but how did you do that? Did you just throw some stupid offer out and then start from there? They had it up here, you had it down here, and then you came into an agreed. Is that how you worked it, or did you? That's was it a was a, a calculated stupid number? Well, the good thing about that one was the wholesaler negotiated it for us. So <laughs> oh. when, it, when it came to us, yeah, when it came to us, we we're good to go. <laughs> so you picked that one up from a wholesaler. Correct. Correct. And even then we still had to negotiate, um, drop it down some more from their price. Yeah. Nice. Because it was still a tight deal, a lot of work. So it's always negotiation. There's never a set price, even with us or with the wholesaler, with agents, owners, you got to just explain them how it works, the numbers, you know? Because it's right on the numbers. Numbers don't lie, right? Right, right. Because yeah. we, we math is math, and I, and I always say math. this in a class. You know, numbers don't lie. People do. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, so it's right there in the numbers. So, okay. So, how to find? Let's let's go back to the first first few seconds of our of our call here <laughs> or our, our set. How to find deals in markets? Well, we gave you a list, and it doesn't matter if you know the neighborhood. So. In other words, you could take right now, you and I, let's jump on a plane. Let's figure out maybe what we ought to do. Maybe we ought to do this here after COVID lifts and all that kind of stuff. So maybe maybe this time next year, 2021, okay? okay. Let's, let's put a, a, a map of the U.S. up and let's get a dart or several. Okay. And let's throw darts and wherever they land, let's build out. Let's see if we can find us a deal. Let's see oh, if we can research the property out. Now, watch it'll land somewhere in the middle of Canada, right? And we'll go, okay, <laughs> we can't go do that. <laughs> or right in the middle of some, some mountain range in, in the Rockies or <laughs> over in the Smokies. We ought to throw it out there and go, okay, what's the closest city? Oh, this one landed in Pigeon Forge, uh, Tennessee. All right, let's figure it out. Right. Let's sit down. Let's crank through it. Oh, this one landed in, you know, uh, uh, somewhere in, in, in Alabama. Great. Let's see what we can do. We, we got to do that. We got to let all of this travel stuff live. That sounds like a good challenge and I'm, I'm actually up for it. So let's do it. Yeah. And that, that would be just so much fun. We'd be, be in a position of getting all of our deals and stuff out of the way, COVID and all that kind of stuff, and then back up. Yeah. And maybe you don't even have to wait till this time next year, maybe spring, March, April, May, somewhere right there. We yeah. do this yeah. little challenge and we get, go live and show everybody. I think it'd be really That's cool. And then That's we take challenge. that one from progression to end and just all the way through, start it, progress, boom, knock it out and see where we land. I'm down for that. And that'll be cool to show uh, our friends here, you know, that it could be done anywhere. Cause right. I'm pretty confident. I know we'll, we'll, we'll get a few deals wherever we I, land. That my concern is how many will we get? <laughs> yeah. You know, and because, and that, that's what's beautiful. So guys, as we're building this out, please share this, this YouTube with others. Let's get this community massive. So I come in on the one side, right? And it's, it's success with RG for the training. Victor comes in on his side, one up home because he is the house guy. He's pulling it. Yeah, I have mine. He has his. But guys, yeah. when you're going to ask the questions and throw it out to both of us, we'll give you our information again. But when you ask the questions, don't hesitate. Because what we have learned is by working with others, mm -hmm. we can improve what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. It, it starts growing. It's about network, honestly. So if we could help you guys level up and then show you guys some thing, cause, uh, things. Because uh, you know, things, you know, I deal with many people in the real estate business uh, that we're, what we're doing in, in the investing world. And uh, sometimes they don't know what they're doing. So I don't know if they went to the wrong seminar or maybe they didn't get the right information. And it makes it harder for us. Like when they send me a deal, I'm like, oh man, I have to do a little bit extra work on their behalf. But if we could teach you guys, it, it's easy. I already know the deal that's coming in. It's easy. Boom, let's go. 
But, yeah, um, and, and 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 maybe maybe you know maybe we've got some some of the listeners because because I don't know if you know so we've got a few subscribers and then a few more and they're starting to come up right we got Manny okay. uh, Manny kicked it I, I got a uh, a message from Manny out in uh, uh, Northern Indiana hey just okay. watched your episodes man they're rocking so much so we're starting to to blow out we're starting to get some good things which I'm excited about but man don't hesitate guys as we get going more ask us the questions. Yes, we have training. Yes, we can help you. Yes, we can give you some guidelines and that kind of stuff. What we decided to do, and this has been over, I don't know how long, Victor, you and I have been discussing this, but we need to share as much as we can. Yes, we do it for a living. So yes, you can get involved officially with us. But man, we wanted to share with with those that are seeking with those that are earnestly wanting to do it right not just the my dad used to call them looky loos and tire kickers and get involved so maybe you get involved with us and you watch for a while and maybe you get involved with just a little bit of money on the side that you Mm -hmm. trust with us so we get things going and maybe it's one of our master classes that you take on an entry level and then it builds up and then you get the vip training and all that kind of stuff like victor did i mean he jumped into the full vip training and took it you know hook line and sinker and great but maybe you're right here at this little master class great great that's what we want to be. Maybe we set up and you're in the Los Angeles area and you realize that we're going to be meeting on a Saturday at one of the properties and you swing by. Like we had a couple of them do that, right? Oh yeah. You had a couple. No, I just saw that it was going to be live. And so we showed up. Damn, oh, man. And just, just alone on that, they got so much value. I mean, uh, they met a lot of people in the group that are doing stuff. Uh, they started networking even after that. Uh, it was, it was really cool. And they saw a, a real life deal in action and ask all the questions. We're wide open, guys. Uh, you know, transparent. We're, we're super cool. We have fun. Dude, uh, no, no, I, I forgot, man. I forgot to even tell you. A, 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 an old <laughs> associate of mine reached out on WhatsApp. And you know, I'm, I'm all new to that. The, yeah. the, the, the guy, his name is Juan Camacho. He's originally from Texas. He now lives okay. in Madrid, Spain. Wow. And he saw some of the stuff we we're doing, saw this, our, our pallets of money, and he reached out to me on WhatsApp. Now we got somebody in Spain. Oh, man. Hey. That him and I are talking that he wants to get back into the game. He, he married and they moved to Spain. To, he, he, and what's cool is he works in the marble quartz granite business okay. over in the quarries and stuff in, in Europe and Spain and stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's something, you know, down the road, we can get some yeah. direct imports coming in, but exactly. man, anybody that just wants to jump. So that's, what we're going to do. We're going to go every week. Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll get it to where it's a, a consistent post. So you can see it out there. We'll probably do them on Fridays and stuff because our, the challenges is that Victor and I are always running in so many directions that we go, dude, John, no, I got to bump to tomorrow. Okay. Are you ready to go? <laughs> Give me five minutes. Okay, great. Are you on? Yeah. yeah, I'm on. Right. And, and I got I to reach out. I didn't last night because I didn't want to bug you guys, but please give your mom uh, loves and happy birthday for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, stuff, I will. Right? I noticed you, you still- catching that shrimp last night, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you catch on. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're standing in the back. All right, hold my beer. But in this case, it was hold my phone, right? Because you were yeah, filming. Yeah. Hold my phone. Boom, you catch no, the shrimp. I, I, I must have had my wine on me. I, I, I tell you, but, but see the, the guys, that's the beauty of it. Get involved with us so that you have the memories. Like that, was that in your backyard? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and was that, was that a catered chef that came in? Yeah. We had the whole like Benny Hanna type. Yeah. 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 It was, it was super cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we were talking <laughs> yesterday and you're like, Hey, my sister's coming in. You know, I just thought we were doing dinner, but it looks like we're going to really blow it out of the, 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 the park with mom and on and on. And I was like, God, that, dude, that's fantastic. And then I'm watching your little fun videos. I was like, no, he's got a custom chef back there and he's personalized it oh, no. and on and on and on. And see, that's what real estate allows you to do is it gives you some freedoms to do that. And it allows yeah. you so man, stick with us, join us to everything we need to do, man. So on my side, it's successwithrg.com. We're pallets of money together on Victor's side. He is. It is a uh, one up homes.com. Uh, o N E U P H O M E S.com. .com. Or uh, on, on Instagram um, at epic boy wonder. Uh, all one word. <laughs> epic <laughs> boy it. wonder. Yeah. yeah. And that, that is fantastic. And together we're pallets of money as we call ourselves guys like us. 
because we're just guys that made it through that are just helping let us share with you man you jump out there it's mm -hmm. awesome it's awesome yeah so man do your thing keep me posted i may have to drop down to la here in the next couple of weeks oh, uh, sure, i don't know sure. what your schedule is but i'm i'm looking at maybe mid-october to jump to indianapolis oh man uh Give me the exact date and I might, I might meet you down there. <laughs> yeah, we, we may. And, and then that way we just do a live out there. We can shoot okay. from there. So it might be that, or it might be like the first week in November. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Give plan. me the exact dates and then we'll, we'll plan it out. Yeah. Let's have it, get it out there. And then we can have uh, Omar from Midland, Texas, another one of the students meet us out there. We can walk through a couple of his properties and then we can meet up nice. with Roger and Carrie Hall and, you know, yeah. go through theirs and we can start looking for more and anybody who wants to meet us out there, maybe that's the way we do is we throw a date out there, you know, Leslie oh, or any of those, you know, that are part yeah, of the yeah. group. They all want to meet out there. Man, that'd be phenomenal. We yeah, and, and what I like, yeah. What I like about that group is they're, they're willing to, they want in, they want to, they'll fly, they'll drive though. They really want it. They're hungry. So uh, that's cool. <laughs> we got to do that. Well, okay. I'll put something together. We'll look at it that way. I don't want to get it before the snow flies because Indiana yeah. gets real brutal. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I have been in Indianapolis where we were with the wind chill factor was minus seven and we had oh. six inches of snow and it was still coming down. We just threw it in four wheel drive and kept going. <laughs> We just kept looking at houses and looking at houses, you know, you, you're all bundled up and you got about this much yeah, exposed, yeah. right? You're going through it, freezing your butts <laughs> off. But man, we'd get in finding deals, finding deals. So you guys, that's yeah. what we're talking about is when your goals are that strong, you're just going to get out and do it. But we've done the homework. That's the other thing that I like about Indianapolis is we've already done the homework. You work yeah. with, you know, Victor on the one, one up homes. He's already done the homework. Uh, we come in on pallets of train or pallets of money and we're doing training. Yeah. You know, so much fun guys. We're just going to, so Victor, man, it's always good. I'm going to let you go, bud. We'll pick it up next time. So again, guys, success with RG.com. Yeah. One up homes.com. Love and you guys. Stick with us, share it. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>